everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Ms. Roxanne, and this is Daily Rambles. Today they're doing season six, episode six of Supergirl called Prom Again. So Kara breaks them out, and then Alex followed, then Kara got hit, then Brainy got the people, then Kat got it all on the drone. Then we cut to where the mom calls Alex, and it's prom time. So Alex uh, fixed the space time. <laughs> Uh, continuum, and then um, Nia had a vision and basically uh, sees a big light that's blocking the cage. The cage is still there, but there's just a light over something. Then we go to prom time, and Alex says sorry, and then there's a big meteor shower happening. And so Alex is taking pictures of the meteors, and then we cut to where Brainy is um, stunned with Nia's outfit, and so they dance. And then the meteor entered, and then Cat let out the zoo people by accident, and so they took her phone, and they go to prom, and mess it up, <laughs> pretty much. Then Kara and Kenny talk, and they both say, I love you. Then the meteor happened. Kara stopped it, but she got hurt really bad. Then the alien wants Kara, and then Kenny uh, sacrifices himself, and so they expect him, and he's not Kryptonian, because it looks like they're about to do some major damage to him, but it wasn't him. So they know who it is now, and they're going to use Kenny as bait. And then the zoo sends a message to all the people, you know, that can super hear. And then uh, Nia knocked Kara out. <laughs> then we got to where, um, and just left her there so she can recover some more. Then Kat writes the article and talks to Kenny. And basically snaps him out of it and tries to get him to get them out. Then... Car announced talk, and then they got out, and then we cut to where, um, you see that pink cougar again, and Nia, um, was able to summon it, <laughs> and, um, uh, it started, uh, so it attacks the zoo people, and then Car blasts them, then they escape, and then we have, uh, Nia and Brainy spazzing because this was not supposed to happen in the original timeline. So Nia says, just start over again. And it's like, we can't start over from two, like from yesterday. It'll mess us all up. I was like, just do it like three hours ago or four and a half hours ago. Then we cut to Kari hears the conversation and flies away. And then we go to four and a half hours earlier because Nia, Brandy was like, oh, that's actually a good idea. So what they do is uh, Kara tagged along and wants to help because she's like, I'm going to fix it. Then we cut to where Nia and Brainy talk, and um, they allow her to help. So Nia basically stops the drone and stops Cat, and um, basically gets her way and basically encourages her. He's like, "You're Cat freaking Grant. You don't need to be doing all these articles on constant stuff. You need to be doing like hard hitting stuff." And she's like, "Cat Grant. Everyone calls me CJ, but I don't mind that." And so, um, so she leaves, and then they, um, they go back, then Kara thanks them, and then Kat quits, and we see, um, from Nia's dream that, um, it was BW, which means Barry White, which was, um, you know, her, um, boss at the Daily Planet, which was also Lois Lane's boss. And also, that was a funny thing in the last episode, in this episode, people keep thinking, like, I'm not Lois Lane. I'm Cat Grant. I'm <laughs> like, ah. and on um, the fact that Nia said, "Oh, I'm a big fan and stuff," you know, that kind of helped. And um, anyway, then the zoo people are on their way to Uruguay, or I um, don't know how to say that right. Then uh, Kara um is hurt, but she'll be okay. Then Kara and um, then Kenny almost got hurt, but he'll be fine. This was also during the, um, the prom again. So basically, they go back to prom, and the meteors happen, and uh, Kara just had, like, um, a scratch. It wasn't as bad as, you know, the first time around. Then we cut to um, Kara just got a flesh wound. Then Kara tells them that she's going to um, going to college to Kenny because, like, originally she was just going to stay with Kenny. And then they decided to go their own separate ways, but they still broke up and There was no bad blood between them. That's what I meant to say. I cannot say aunt, but I mm -mm, can't say it. Anyway, then um, 
Kenny says so he needs to make more choices. And so Kenneth Stain and then Brandy got a sample and then encourages Nia about her powers and how she can now manifest stuff as in a dream into real life, which was kind of cool. Then um, also Kat wrote, um, drew a pink cougar, which I thought was kind of cool on the napkin. So she, it looks like she still kind of remembers it or that's her aura, I guess. And then we cut to where they go home. And that was the end of the episode. It was a really good episode. I gave it an A plus because um, at first I was, was kind of on the border of an A, A minus, but then they they definitely brought it around. I really, really enjoyed the episode. I kind of judge it on if I pick up my phone and watching during the show a little bit. I didn't do that this time. I did a little bit the last episode. And so every time I do that, I take it down a notch. So like A plus, if I look at my phone, A. Look at my phone again, A minus, and so on and so forth. And if I if it gets down to a C, that's sad. Anyway, the point is, I really like the storyline, and I liked how the action sequences happened, and I like everyone's um character development or you know or trying to learn stuff, and how people were at that time. So I really really enjoyed it. So really good episode. That's what I'm doing for this video. So, like this video, please give it a like. Give it, comment down below and tell me what you think of the episode. And thank you to the five new subscribers. I know I've been off for about two weeks because of stuff, <laughs> but um, I'm doing a little bit better. But I still have a hectic schedule, so I'm trying to do this as often as I can. And I'm very sorry for not doing it when I should have. My bad. So I'm gonna try to get better, but we'll see what happens. So. I'll see y'all in my next video, and I want y'all to have an awesome day. Bye.